contacts, you can create a list of contacts and relate them as a contact group. This differs from a group within a Google Groups or a Google Mail distribution list. So we're going to go ahead and create our first contact and we're going to pull from a connected profile in Google. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Contact. And I'm going to type in the email address of a colleague here at work. What you'll notice happen is that uh, up on the upper right hand side it will show that this is a connected profile, that this Gary Spencer is a member of the domain. And I can go ahead and now add them into my personal contact list. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And in this, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and call this support services. This is neither a Google group or a personal, a global distribution list. So I'm going to create my own personal one. Press OK. And I can go ahead and create my next contact. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put in another colleague in the department. And you'll notice again that this is a connected profile. To add uh, Darren to my groups, I'm going to select the little three-headed icon and check support services. And I'll see that I now have two labels, uh, support services. And then uh, finally, in order to email that group, I'll notice that I have a group label on my left-hand side called support services. To email them, I'm just go ahead and select all and press the email link. That's all there is to it.